He worked for the NFL. That guy worked for the NFL. I'm about to get racial, so if you don't like what I'm getting ready to say, take your ass on. So, so that guy worked for the NFL. Let me turn this down. That guy worked for the NFL, and uh, you can tell that he don't talk to black people unless they throw in the football. That brother I just picked up, but well, not brother, definitely not no brother. The white dude I just picked up, old white guy, I picked him up from, from, from the NFL, uh, NFL uh, headquarters over here in LA. Come on, dude, let me get over, you fucking idiot. He worked for the, he worked for the, I'm finna just run, this is a rental car, I don't give a damn about this car. Um, he worked for the NFL, but you can tell he one of them type of, oh, I gotta go all the way down here. Oh shit, oh well. You can tell he worked for, you can tell the only time he really talked to brothers is if they throwing a football. If you ain't throwing a football or running a football, he ain't got no time for black people. You know what I'm saying? And it could be an LA thing too. A lot of people see somebody, I you know, that's one thing I learned about being in LA. Your, your occupation in LA is your personality. That's why a lot of times out here in LA, they always ask you, oh, so what do you do? They ask you, the first thing they ask you in LA is, what do you do? The reason why they ask you that, they don't want to know what your name, like even before they ask you your name in some cases out here in LA. When you meet somebody in LA, they ask you, what do you do? They want to know, what do you do? Because they want to decipher, depending on how you answer, whether their time is worth talking to you. So if somebody come up to me and say, hey, hey, what do you do? And I tell them, I'm an Uber driver, conversation is done. They walk in the other way. <laughs> They see, I can't get nothing out of you. You ain't got nothing to value. You don't have no power. You're an Uber driver. Conversation is done. But if you ask, but if somebody asks me, what do you do? Oh, I'm an executive for the NFL. Oh, now I can talk to you. Now I'm engaging with you. I want to know more about you, where you're from. Because now I feel like you're valuable. Now you're worth my time. That's how it is out here in LA. They want to know what you do first before they have any conversation with you. Engaging in how you on what kind of occupation you say you do or what you do for a living that will let them know Especially women out here, you know, like West Hollywood area that like, you know, I would say LA period People say oh, oh that's Hollywood. No, I think that's LA period is They want to know what you do first out here before they engage with you If you tell them that you a janitor conversation over <laughs> They don't want to talk no more even though you can be the smartest Oh, even though you could be a janitor and you could be a mathematician, you just in between jobs right now, you're a janitor. So I have no conversation for you. And that goes for women and men out here, not just the women, you know? So that could be what homeboy, why homeboy didn't want to, because I was going to ask him a question about working at the NFL offices, but he was I'm like, oh, you work for the NFL? He was like, nope. He's like, yep, that was it. He That let me know, okay, I don't want to conversate you. Just take me where I need to go. I don't want to talk to you, which is cool. And, and hey, who knows? He, my homeboy probably just got fired. He probably just got fired from the NFL. And don't want to have no conversation, you know. But I do know a lot of executives that work for the NFL. If you're not playing football, if you're not throwing a football or running a football, or or you're not, um, who's the big guy? Uh, oh, I forgot his name. If you're not Odell Beckham or somebody like that, you know, they can care less about what you're talking about. <laughs> they don't want to have no, you know, you black. I don't. If you're not running, if you're not running that football for me. I don't give a fuck what your black ass got to say. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I get. You know, that's why I think Kaepernick had the problems he had. But it's all good. Like I said, you never know what people are going through. Like Homeboy could have just got fired. He could have just lost his wife, and he flying back home. She's sick. Probably got a lot. Of, like you don't know what people got going. So for me to take that personal, I shouldn't take it personal. Cause like you, you know, like I said, you don't know what people are going through. You don't know what a homeboy got. Is so, you know somebody's sick in his family, and he rushing home to go see him. That's why he's taking a flight out this time of day. Maybe you know, you don't know. You know, everybody ain't. A lot of people ain't talkative. A lot of people are introverts. You know, a lot of people keep to themselves. Don't want to engage with people. Don't want to talk to people like that. They don't want to. You know what I'm saying? That I don't have no conversation for you. You know, which is fine. But it's just, just interesting. But anyway, this is show y'all that was the NFL building, the NFL building. Hope y'all enjoyed the look. You know, that's the new NFL middle building out here in LA. So just wanted to just chime in on that. So, but uh, hold on.